Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. An absolute winner of a day today because of that right there. High temperature sitting in the low 80s on July 30th. Today's July, July 30th. Yeah, uh, that felt quite nice when those when those lower humidity values came in from the north and that dry air squeezed in from the north. We got rid of the clouds in the afternoon and it was a flawless Sunday. It's, it's a really nice night too. If you're if you're working the overnight or you got to be out and out late tonight, it's a nice one. There's an area of low pressure developing along the stalled front. This is going to race offshore, but behind it, it's pulling in that dry air at least through the night tonight. So we'll get rid of these uh, high level clouds through the night and keep things pleasant overnight. Temperature wise, they our temps may drop to the 60s because our dew points are there right now. Dew points measure moisture in the air. It's also a good telling tale of where the temperatures could potentially go through the night, where they can fall to. It's kind of like the temperatures limit, so to speak. And we could see 60s by tomorrow morning. Sets us up for a, a nice day tomorrow, but the humidity comes back ever so slightly. So we got upper 80s in a few spots, back to our 90 or close to 90 degree weather for the day tomorrow. Upper 80s on the south side and mid to upper 80s on the peninsulas. Humidity comes back, as I mentioned, ever so slightly, and we do got a chance at a couple showers and a few rumbles of thunder in the afternoon. So one little standard summer day for us to finish the month of July. Why not? We'll, we'll do it that way. But as we move into our Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we really see some nice weather move in. So again, just a few afternoon showers tomorrow, a couple rumbles of thunder going into Tuesday. More of the dry air out of the north gets put, pulled into the region. Look at our dew points. We'll be near 70 degrees for Monday afternoon and evening. That's the dew point value. So that's near the humid scale uh, or humid on the scale. And then as we move into Tuesday, those dew points drop to the 60s and upper 50s in a few spots. So a lot more comfortable by Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the low 80s like they were today for some spots. As we move into tomorrow morning, we got a lot of clear, uh, clear conditions, good amount of sunshine for the first half of the day, good amount of sunshine for most of the day. But by the afternoon and the evening, we see a few of those showers and a couple of rumbles of thunder. A few raindrops are possible for Tuesday morning, but I think the bigger story is going to be that afternoon sunshine, drier feel to the air. It's more comfortable. It'll be a bit refreshing and it'll be real nice with cooler weather for the, the August standard, so to speak. Out there in the tropics, this will develop into a tropical depression at least over the next 24 to 48 hours. It'll stay east of Bermuda. It'll stay out to sea. So that is likely and is expected to see some development. And we showed you that area low pressure offshore of Hatteras. That has some possibility of getting some sort of tropical characteristics over the next couple of days, but that's pretty slim. I think what we'll focus most on here is the beautiful weather expected for Tuesday and Wednesday.